guys, welcome to a new video where today I'm going to show you guys what I have on my desk. I'm going to show you guys how I work, how I game, and basically how I do everything with this small little desk. And you're probably like, that is a small desk. But the problem of living in LA and living in an apartment is you don't have a lot of space all the time, so you got to make it work. video you guys are always asking what I game with, what I work with, basically just what I use in general so I figured I'd give you guys a quick little tour of what's going on on my desk. Let's start off with what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. My MacBook Pro. This is the 15 inch MacBook Pro. This one I've had for a little bit over a year. I think this came out in late 2016. This is my second one of that because I had my first one stolen. As soon as you get a device, turn on the find my iPhone, turn on the find my whatever because guess what? I didn't have it on. Not saying it would have helped, but yeah, maybe just do that. But this is what I literally use for everything. This is almost fully maxed out, except I only got the one terabyte instead of the second terabyte. And that is probably top 10 biggest regrets in my life. Because guess what? 4K video takes up a lot of space. This is what I use basically every day. I take this with me everywhere I go. But when I am home and I maybe have a lot more things to edit, also I'm gonna apologize because this chair is really squeaky, so I'm gonna need to get a new chair. If I have a lot to edit and a lot to do, that is when my iMac comes into play. So this is actually the iMac Retina 5K late 2015 27 inch iMac. So this is great when I need things to process faster or I have a lot of files that are just massive or you know I need a bigger screen. This is what I use when I'm at home. But it is good because I also use a lot of external hard drives where if I'm switching between the computers I can just plug the hard drive in, edit off of that, put it on this and we're good to go. And not gonna lie, I've been using the Razer mouse instead of the Mac mouse because I just kind of prefer the feeling to it and it lights up. And of course to go along with it is the matching Razer mouse pad. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. It's a great look. And while we're on the topic of computers, we aren't done yet. We have the Surface Book. Now the Surface Book has been incredible for many, many reasons. I have actually been traveling with two laptops because I am crazy. This chair needs to stop squeaking. So like I said, I've actually been traveling with my Surface Book and my MacBook because this computer I use for different purposes than my MacBook. This is basically like editing emails, iMessage, those normal things that I use on here. But this I actually use a lot for different reasons. I never realized how much I love having a touchscreen. I don't know where my Surface Pen is, but using the pen and being able to write on the screen is actually something that I kind of enjoy a lot. Will Apple ever do it? I don't know. So right now Fortnite is updating, which is one of the reasons also why I started traveling with my Surface because I wanted to play games on the go. I just use my Xbox controller, I just Bluetooth pair it right to the Surface and I'm able to game with the controller because let's face it, I am not much of a PC gamer. I want to change that, but right now I'm kind of just sticking with what I know and what I'm comfortable with and that is my Xbox controller. Which, also speaking of, this is one that I custom made from the Xbox Design Lab. This is my favorite color, blue, with my gamer tag. That's me, Celia Straw. So while Fortnite is updating, I will show you guys my main gaming setup. Oh, I also forgot to tell you about my wireless charger, which is really, really dirty. This is the Mophie wireless charger, and I feel like it's very important for me to have on my desk, especially because I'm working and I'm always picking up my phone and putting it back down. It's just, it's really great because I just have it here. I'm not really in a rush to for it to charge, and if I am, then I'm probably not using the wireless charging, but I'm just able to work, pick it up, do my things, check my emails, even though I have 15 computers, I still prefer mobile. And then when I'm done, set it back down and let it charge and move on to whatever. So you're probably thinking, how do you get any work done with all of those things on your desk? I'm gonna show you on a day-to-day -day basis how I work, and this is not it, because all of this screen, and this screen, and this, I, it would drive me crazy. So I'm gonna let Fortnite update. I normally have this computer turned this way if I'm not using it. There, take this behind here. And then it frees up all of the space for me to use my laptop, which, because the majority of the time, that's what I'm using. Another thing that is always on my desk, I don't want to say always because I definitely lose them, but I have managed to buy multiples, is uh, a dongle because, as you may or may not know, the new MacBook Pro does not have a slot for SD cards. I don't want to talk about it. But what I do want to talk about is the gaming setup. 
So my gaming setup is pretty simple. This is my new monitor. This is the LG 27 inch 4K UHD IPS LED monitor. That's a lot to say, but you know what? It's also really great to look at. So the big thing for me is I really do play a majority of my games on the Xbox One X and my previous monitor was not 4K and I really wasn't utilizing my Xbox to its fullest potential. That is why I needed the new LG 4K monitor. Now this video is not sponsored in any way but they did send me this monitor and I have been so excited about it and so happy and it really has kind of changed my whole gaming experience because before that I was using that small BenQ monitor and what kind of drives me crazy is I've never been much of a headset person so I didn't really want to wear a headset with the last one, but there's no volume on the monitor. Thankfully, this monitor has volume. But what I had to do for the last one is actually use an aux cable and plug it into a wireless Bose speaker so that I could have sound because I didn't want to have a headset on. So that was just an absolutely crazy process. So this not only is 4K and looks great, but it has sound. Thank you. It also is compatible with industry standard HDR10 high dynamic range. It also has ports for USB-C, which is really important because a lot of things are moving towards USB-C. And it also has a three side virtually borderless display. Now I can talk about this all I want, but for me, I wanna play my favorite game in 4K. Far Cry is the best game ever. I don't care what anyone says. This game takes a while to start up though. I was playing uh, State of Decay 2 last night with my friend Ed, was having a great time. Man, I just, I feel like I took time off from gaming and now all I wanna do is play video games. All right, boys and girls. Oh, I was trying to get this prepper stash. Let's go do that. No, no. I don't want a sniper, I don't want a sniper, I don't want a sniper. Okay, I got one of them. Oh gosh, run. I don't even need a sniper. I feel like half the time I'm actually trying to do something, I'm just running around lost in this game, but I still have fun. This gun sucks. Maybe I suck. No, I don't suck, it's the gun. No, I'm good. I'll loot this truck. finish this uh this this i'll be right back so like i said i usually just like to have the sound kind of coming out of the monitor because i don't really like to use the headset because sometimes if i'm playing for a long time my ears hurt and if i'm not talking to anyone on there there's no point. But when we were playing Hardcore Destiny, I was playing with Justine and Ed and a bunch of my friends and we were constantly talking on the headset. My headset at the time broke and then I had to resort back to using the Xbox headset that basically comes with the console. And they were like, I can't hear you, you need to get a headset. Justine actually Amazon Prime now me a headset over. And I don't, I think these are Turtle Beach. It was literally the only headset that could show up within an hour of delivery time, which when you're playing Destiny, it's very important. Um, and then I haven't actually gotten any other headset since then, so definitely need to upgrade. I am looking at the Razer headset for Xbox, but this is actually the headset too that I have for PC for Razer, and it's so nice. And it's just like a cloud on my head. And I also like that this goes in and it goes out and you can move it really nice. I don't do much PC gaming. Will that change? It might. The look that you have to you, I love it. Are you downloading now Fortnite? Let's see here. Oh yes you are. Another reason why I'm saying that I use this sometimes, touchscreen, incredible, but also, I can use it as a tablet, which means I can go anywhere I want and watch Netflix. But then, if I put it right back on, it attaches, and I'm ready to game. So then all I do is sync this up with Bluetooth, and I can play Fortnite anywhere I want. Which I realize right now, I can also play Fortnite right in front of me, but... Well, anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the what's on my desk, what I game with, what I edit with video. Just a quick little video of what's going on on my desk. I hope in the future that we can have not an updated version of this, but I do want to do some reorganization. I want to get a new desk. I want to do a new setup for filming and maybe streaming. So keep your eyes out for that, and if you have any suggestions on things that I might be missing, let me know, because I always like to go shopping! And I will see you guys again soon thank you so much for watching and yeah have a great one i gotta i'm gonna i'm gonna get back to this